Oh, good evening. Get your water. We're gonna do a water blessing, but first we're gonna have a little conversation. I told you yesterday we we're gonna do a water blessing. So grab your water. This is my water. See, it's kind of hazy. It's hydrogen bubbles. It balances your immune system. I'm a water snob. I drink Kangen water. This is it, out of a crystal water bottle. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm gonna tell you some cool tricks to activate your water. But before we do that, I want to um, have a little conversation. Say hello if you're here. Tell me if you're watching the replay. I wanna to talk to you about some synchronicities that have occurred for me because the more we acknowledge, talk about, appreciate the synchronicities in our life, the more often they occur. Synchronicities are our love fair with the divine. I'm gonna say it again. Hello, Melissa. Synchronicities are our love affair with the divine. Have you noticed that when you start experiencing synchronicities and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a sink, there's a sink, more occurs. This is the, the universe breadcrumbing us, right? The, the universe is like, keep coming. You're on the right track. Keep coming this way, this way. You're doing good, you're doing good. So I've had so many synchronicities happening over, I don't know, like forever. But you know, sometimes they like really hit you days in a row. And today was super powerful. I told you yesterday about what was going on for me in traffic, which was interesting. Well, today in particular, I saw four cardinals, four cardinals. So I walked outside, my daughter and I wanted to take a walk and I heard cardinals. I heard one on one side of my house and one on another side and they were talking back and forth to each other. It's in my story, if you look at my story. And then this one male cardinal was really playing with us. He was jumping around from branch to branch. He had a little worm in his mouth and he was calling to his love to come join him because he had a treat for her. And so she came swooping by and they took off. Then I'm driving down the road and I was just about to a stop sign and I look over and I see a cardinal sitting on the uh, electric wire. Super cool, like how often does that happen? And then, when did I see another one? I saw another one, I was driving through the neighborhood and I saw another one, it swooped across me, um, across the car as I was driving down the street. Super cool, and so we acknowledge these, thank you, thank you, thank you, put a synchronicity in the comments so that you will activate more synchronicities, spirit will give you more, right? You get what you look for, right? You get how you feel. Hello Mandy, I love you. Okay, now, so if you've been hanging with me for a little while, you know that I've been doing a lot of inner child work, in particular, my fifth grade self. Fifth grade Monica, and while I'm here, if you all ha don't have your water, grab some water, because we're gonna do a water blessing before we're done. A water blessing before bedtime. Uh, okay, so fifth grade Monica, oh shit, oops, oops. Fifth grade Monica, like needing some love, okay? This was probably one of the most transitional years of my life as a child. And ooh, imprint, imprint, imprint. I started at a Catholic school when I was in fifth grade. Complete, like I went from pretty much no religion to Catholic. What? It was whack, okay? Now, I found, check this out. I've been doing this work very intentionally around fifth grade Monica. I just went to my dad's house last week because he was doing something uh, with my car for me. And he gave me like five folders from fifth grade. Okay, that is a sink. The fact that I've been doing inner child work on fifth grade Monica and then I go to my dad's and he has all this stuff for me from fifth grade. I mean, I'm 41. He's been having this stuff. He could have given that stuff to me at any time. But within the quantum field, I have activated this fifth grade Monica healing. And so it makes total sense. Now, um, I bring this stuff home. And first of all, I can feel the energy. It made me cry. I could feel the energy, the sadness, the confusion. 
the internal conflict in this stuff. I went through all of it because it was a healing, but then I got rid of most of it, but I kept a few things I wanna show you. First of all, this is just funny. Okay, if you're about my age, you'll appreciate this. We got Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, Alyssa Milano, Alf, Corey Haim, Whitney Houston. Come on now. <laughs> Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> Tell me that is not hilarious. I had this boy, I must have liked a, name, a boy named Andy because I had I love Andy all over everything, which is hilarious. And then look, look who's on the inside. Whitney Houston was the feature. I freaking love Whitney Houston. Love her. She is one of my all-time faves. Okay. Now, I open up and I see, I used to play teacher all the time. And so this was me trying to come to terms with all of the, like, judgment in school. Okay. So I went from, like, country school to Catholic school. So I didn't, I didn't know, how, I didn't do homework. I lived in the country, what? And then I had these gobs of homework thrown. I mean, it was hard. And I, I, got, I had Fs on a lot of stuff. And you know what I did? I'd take the F and I would write the word Inish behind it. So I would turn the F into finish. <laughs> no big deal. Did she just tell me to finish it? <laughs> Not a big deal. You're good, don't judge yourself. But for instance, I had this list. And I wrote down rules, no talking, keep hands and feet to yourself, raise hand before you talk, don't fight. Then it says student of the month. It was really interesting. I had, I would, I would play teacher and I would write out all the names of these students and I would grade them. And so some of them had D's, some of them had A's. Then I would write letters to the students. You did really well. You got a B plus, but I'd really like you to see that, to kick that up a notch and make it an A plus. Just very interesting. Now, this is an interesting synchronicity. The first page that I opened to, oh well, shit, where'd it go? Was my married name. And on top of it, are you listening? On top of it was a flyer that had the birthday of my ex-husband. Not the year, but the date. So I open up to my married name with a flyer with my ex-husband's birthday on it. Isn't that interesting? The other thing that was really cool is I wrote, I had to do this paper and it, we went through the alphabet and so I would choose something about my state, you know, like A, apple, whatever, have to do with apples in my state. This, for P, I picked prehistoric. What I wrote about is a location that last month, a sacred site, a prehistoric sacred site, where last month I went and anchored light as part of my mission. Isn't that interesting? So I felt the feels and I cried and I released a whole lot of bullshit that Monica, the fifth grader, was carrying around. And then I threw all that shit away except for these pieces, but I'm gonna throw them away too. <laughs> because I wanted to show you, because I was like, okay, wow, you're on the right track, you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing, keep going, you got this. The other download that came through today was about the clouds. And I said something about the clouds yesterday. I was looking up at the sky, and you know, the clouds are made of water, right? I'm on this massive water kick that's just never gonna go away because, I mean, we are water. And what I heard in my mind was there's an ocean in the sky. As above, so below. So you think of the sky, you think of the ocean. There is an ocean inside of you. As within, so without. This concept of like expansion. So you think of, you start at the micro macro level and expand out and you think of all of the 
living parts inside of your body, you know, even down to the bacteria that live in your gut, we essentially are a planet, right? A planet within a planet within a planet within a planet. And it made me feel this like deep, deep connection with everything around me. And so what I've been doing over the past week or so with deep intention is like blessing the clouds. You know, like I bless my water. Why wouldn't I bless the clouds? The clouds are water. And so it, you should try this. Start loving, like sending love to the clouds and blessing the clouds. And they will start speaking to you. I know you've noticed pictures in the clouds, you know, like, I know you look at the clouds and say, what do I see? You know, like, do you see a swan or a lion or something? I guarantee you, you start paying more attention to the clouds and they will speak to you more often. You will look in the sky and every time you will see a picture. Today, the most significant picture I saw was, was a lion. And like, it makes total sense, right? Like we're on the we're riding this lion's gate wave. I mean, it was a lion, like you could not mistake it. It was so beautiful. I saw a fairy. So start looking at the clouds and acknowledging them. And then, you know, you realize it's like, join, when you join forces with the elements, because ele the elements are everywhere, right? There's literally nothing working against you. Literally, you're surrounded by this forward motion that wants to provide for you. You know, source is conspiring to deliver everything that you desire. The only person getting in your way is you. The only person getting in your way is you. So get out the way, yo. <laughs> and how do you get out of the way? Appreciate the now moment. Gratitude. Stay in your heart. Love. Love unconditionally. It doesn't mean you let yourself get taken advantage of. It means that you still get to set boundaries, but the person that's the biggest asshole, I say this often, is really your greatest teacher and you get to love them. They teach you unconditional love. And I have personal experience with this. I'm not just saying this because I live a perfect life, right? I can think of one person in particular who was perhaps the most challenging person in my life, but I still love him. And he teaches me a lot. And I know that we agreed to this, this thing that we're doing, you know? Okay, now get your water. Get your water. We're going to do a water blessing. So this is a water bottle that has crystals underneath. And it actually unscrews at the bottom. And you can... I'm going to flip it over. And you can take the crystals out and you can replace them. If you want to put different crystals in, you know. If you're going for like abundance water or something like that just based on what your need is. And you know, crystals are very high vibration, right? They're coated with the intention, the love, the support of Mother Earth. And so why not get yourself a crystal water bottle? So this is, it's a little hazy. This is Kangen water. It's got hydrogen bubbles in it. So I can't get this to screw back on, hold on. So it's a little hazy because of the hydrogen bubbles. This is good for you. Activates your immune system, balances your immune system. Um, and something that I like to do, I do this with um, like a Sharpie. You can do it with permanent marker if you want. If you get a glass container for your water, write words of affirmation on it. And so like, I'm gonna write love. You know, so I'll write Jesus, angels, Mary Magdalene, just like whatever feels good, abundance. You can, and so we're, we're activating our water. You're putting the vibration of these words into the water and you'll find 
that if you get yourself a big glass container, put some high quality water in it. If you wanna know the kind of water I drink, comment, I can teach you about it. It's my business. Uh, you will find that the water actually is more smooth. It tastes better, it enhances the taste. And so I know you've heard of Dr. Emoto. I believe it's E-M-O-T-O. -O. Water has a consciousness, right? Water is living and he did this study, many studies, where he would write words of affirmation on the water and actually witness the water change structure. And so he would freeze the water and then look at it under a microscope and he would see that the water that had the positive words of affirmation, love, abundance, joy, peace, were these beautiful uh, snowflake shapes. Now he also did the opposite where he would write negative words on the water and what he would find there is it would be often discolored and disjointed. There was no beautiful pattern. You know, you think of like the perfect pattern in nature is like the Fibonacci sequence, that beautiful spiral, you know? Um, but with negative words, it was very disjointed and didn't have any, it wasn't constructed in any sort of organized pattern. So I want you to think about the fact that you are 70% water. And so let's talk about internal dialogue. Even if you're making a joke, you know, calling yourself, you know, you ding dong or something like that. You know, even something as seemingly simple as that, you don't want to say these things to yourself because you're imprinting on every cell of your body because every cell needs water. We are made of water. And so think about the way that you speak to your children even jokingly, the tone of your voice carries a frequency that shifts every cell in your body. And so speak highly to yourself always. And something that I love to do with my water is every time, every single time before I drink my water, I speak to it. So if you have your water now, let's speak to our water. And we're just going to speak some affirmations into our water. And so what's happening is it gets to be this simple. We're speaking into our water. This is abundance water. I love you. Like feel it, right? Like it's not just about the words, is it? It's about the true intention and to really be grateful for the water that nourishes every cell in your body for the water that cleanses your skin. For the water that we get to swim in and have fun in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am love, I am joy, I am peace. Abundance, I am abundance. You can speak to your water to manifest. You know, um, this is manifestation water for my, I don't know, what do you want a car? You want a new house? What kind of car do you want? Like be specific. Um, this is my manifestation water to call in 500 extra dollars tomorrow. Something simple. I wanna manifest a divine union, right? You just speak to your water and feel it. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart and it can even be just as simple as love. Love. You can manifest anything with love. Love, the heart, that's how we manifest, through our heart. You don't even have to be specific. You just have to be in love. Right? With yourself first. Then it gets to overflow to the world around you. Okay, so speaking affirmations into your water. And let's just take a drink. Okay. So I um, posted a meditation. It is like a cellular healing Lemurian waters meditation. It's absolutely amazing. It took me to magical places. The fact that I create a meditation and take myself to magical places is really cool. It's my gift to the world. I think you will really like it. It should be above this post. Enjoy it. 
And so before we go, let's just, um, let's go into our heart and come into the now moment, come into our bodies and just bless ourselves either before bed, if it's bedtime for you or before you begin your day, perhaps. And I want you to put your hand on your heart, holding your water, keep your water close to you as we're sending the vibration of love and healing. If there's a specific healing that you're seeking in your body, a specific area that needs love and attention, speak it into your water. And feel your heartbeat. Feel it vibrating beneath your hand. Take a nice deep breath. As you exhale, drop your shoulders and open your chest. Another deep breath. Exhale, drop your shoulders, open your chest. And either in your mind or out loud, repeat after me. I am worthy. I am divine. I am ready to experience my heaven on earth. It is safe to create my heaven on earth. And I want you to call in your soul, your inner being, your higher self. Let's play with some energies here. Let's call in your soul and I want you to really feel into your body. I am calling in my higher self. I surrender to the guidance of my higher self. And I feel your body, what changed Feel the vibration in your cells as your crystalline DNA is activated through the presence, through the surrender to the will of your higher self. Do you feel heat in your body? Do you feel tingling? I'm feeling heat throughout my back especially. Tingling on the right side of my head and a buzzing in my ears. See what you see, hear what you hear, feel what you feel. The more often you do this, the more attuned to the energies you will become, the more powerful your supra senses will become, the more awareness you will have of the presence of your higher self, surrendering to the to that divine guidance. Legs and arms, beautiful. Feeling the heat, I love it. Thank you for sharing. Feel free to share what you are experiencing to lock it in. You're saying yes to putting something in the comments to acknowledge the shift. Tells the universe I'm ready for more. And now let's call in another energy if anyone has a particular energy that they like to work with, put it in the comments. We'll call it in. Call them in. Let's call in the angelic realm. I do a lot of work with Archangel Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Let's call in Archangel Michael first. They're all here already. <laughs> And a great way to call in energies is to picture a symbol that you associate with them and or a color. And so for me, Archangel Michael, and for many, a symbol is a beautiful, shiny, silver sword. So in picturing that symbol, you're drawing his energy in to your field, and you can also state Archangel Michael 
You are welcome in my energy field. Please come be with me now. And then I would like to feel the presence of your energy in my field. Please give me a sign or a feeling and even picturing his color, which for me is blues and purples, intending to see the color. You don't have to really see the color if you're not a big visualizer, but just think about the color purple or the color blue or both. And now feel, and I feel a halo. Oh, nose is super cold. That's interesting. My nose is kind of chilly too. Okay, now for me, when I call in energies, I am clairsentient is one of my most powerful, we'll call them super senses because I think that's what they're called. I feel on my body. So literally every energy that comes to me, it's either like a buzzing in the ear, the dolphins come with a click, or a feeling on my body. And so I associate many of the energies that I work with as a particular feeling on my body. So for instance, Mary Magdalene is here on the right side of my head. Jesus is here. Archangel Michael is a halo. Even Lyran energy comes in as a halo, but it's more like a crown sitting on my head. Sekhmet comes in my sinuses, which is interesting. Kali comes in as heat on my face. And, you know, everyone's different. You get to have your own truth and experience around it. But I like to play with calling in the energies because the more you do it, the more powerful your awareness of their presence is. And there's nothing different from us. We're unique, but if I can do this, you can do this. There's, I'm no more special than you are. We are all special and have our own unique abilities. So play with the energies, call them in, play with the clouds, acknowledge them, co-create with all of the magic of nature around you. So cool, so cool. Okay, have a wonderful evening or wonderful day, whatever it is for you. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll be back tomorrow. I love y'all so much. Don't forget, if you want a good meditation, look above this. I have a really great meditation that came straight from the heart. It's always channeled from source, always. I just literally free flow. There's, I don't stop and go. I just free, free flow the whole meditation. I don't script it. It just is channeled through. So enjoy. Melissa, I did that with a cloud bursting. Amazing. That's so cool. And another Melissa, I frequently have hot feet sensations when I have an energy around me. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Tracy, Misty, ringing in the left ear. My ears are ringing too. Philip, I see you. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye-bye.